Joseph saw his end when he was a teenager. And Joseph believed his end so much, he started talking about it. Let me say this to you. You don't believe it until you start talking about it. And let me tell you something. You can always tell when a vision is from God. It makes you look like a fool. If they believe you the first time you tell them, it's not from God. Because the end is always so amazing. Every vision only has one believer first. Sometimes you got to convince your spouse. It's like, like Abraham and Joseph. You have to be convinced. But once you've seen it, it takes over your life. And Joseph went and told his daddy, I saw myself sitting on the throne. You and all my brothers were kneeling before me. And I was sustaining you. I'm the youngest in the family, but I'm going to feed everybody. His brother says, are you crazy? If they don't think you're crazy, it's not a vision from God yet. His father says, son, if that's what you see, I believe it with you. He put it in his heart. And then Joseph's brothers couldn't handle the dream. He tore his clothes off. They threw him in the pit. I imagine Joseph in the pit, looking at the dirt, looking up, seeing the sky. It's dirt. And Joseph decided to sit down in the pit. And Joseph, the Bible didn't say about his attitude. He never got angry. You know what I believe Joseph did in that pit? What I want you to do tonight. Joseph sat in that pit and Joseph said, you know something? This is not what I saw. Listen to me. If what you see is not what you saw, then what you see is temporary. Tell your neighbor, this ain't what I saw. Glory, hallelujah. Keep holding hands for a minute. So here you are, working for someone. You got to go back to work on Monday. I want you to go to that job and smile. Have a good time, walk in and say, good morning, everybody. How you all doing? And they say, why are you so happy? Tell them, this ain't what I saw. Yeah, it's called temporary employment. I know you're going back to a house, and maybe even it's close to foreclosure. You know why God sent me here tonight? Just to tell you this. The reason why He can let them foreclose on this one, because this ain't the one you saw. Yes, I know your church is in that storefront. But that ain't what he showed you when you was on your pillar. So tell the people, let's enjoy this place while we're here. This ain't what we saw. We'll be on our way to something greater. Let's enjoy where we are because this is not permanent. It's temporary. Ow! Oh! oh yeah, yeah. Some of y'all came here. And you wanted to give some money so bad tonight. You say, oh, I wish I had a thousand dollars. And God told me to tell you tonight, yes, I know you wanted to give it. He said, but you're, you got a little difficulty financially now. But this is not what you saw. Joseph said, this is, I saw myself on a throne. So I'll just relax. Keep holding hands, please. Oh, listen to me. When I went to Egypt for the first time, we went to the Sinai Desert excursion. My wife and I, it was amazing. And they showed us 
how the Egyptians used to keep the silos in the, in the desert. And my guide said to me, he says, you know, there is a, a merchant road that runs from Egypt all the way to Syria, all the way through Israel up to Syria. And he says, that's where they used to bring all the trade down from Syria to Egypt and Africa. And he said, do you remember Joseph? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, you see, when the brothers took Joseph, are you ready? And they, they took him to the, the desert and they threw him in the pit. He said, it had to be one of the pits right next to the highway where the merchant caravans would be coming all the way down from Syria going to Egypt to do business. He said, and they had to have thrown him in the right pit right next to the highway. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. He said, it was the right pit because it was the pit that the caravans had to pass. And when the men, the brothers saw the caravan, they took him out of the pit and sold him on the side of the road to the caravan. And I thought, that's amazing. He was in the right pit next to the right highway because the free transportation that he needed to take him to the throne was coming that same highway. I've come to tell you that even you are stuck in a job, it's a pit. Somebody is on the way coming to pick you up, to take you to your destiny. They are going to take you there. Tell your neighbor, I'm in the right pit. Thank you.